I think we get a breather from overhead pressing at least for a minute. Because now we got number nine. bent over In rows. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And again, doing all these exercises with a thick bar makes them much harder. Harder to hold the bar. Engages your hands, grip, forearms. Definitely. Stop. Rest oh. for fifteen seconds. Oh man. More pressing. Now we got overhead press from the front. We've done it from the back a couple times. In five, four, three, two, one, go. This will be a strike press, which back in the early weightlifting days, Olympic weightlifting consisted of three movements, three exercises. The first was an overhead press just like this for the max amount of weight, followed by the snatch and then the clean and jerk, whereas now the weightlifting only consists of the snatch and the clean and jerk. It did away with the overhead press, I believe, in the late 50s or early 60s, somewhere around there, because people were using too much back bend and not performing it with strict form. Rest for 15 seconds. All right, we're down to the last two. Last two aren't so bad. My forearms are fried. Ooh, my hands too. But we got deadlifts next, and then squats. In five, four, three, two, one, go. And I'm doing it just like they suggested. Where when you come to the top, you lean back. Which I don't really recommend these days. Most people overextend themselves when they do this movement in the gym, but. I'm not using a whole lot of weight, so I am not worried that I'm going to injure myself. And I know how he's proper form on this movement as well. And that's the key, is using proper form on all exercises, at all times, using as much weight as you can handle safely. I started to get a little hard in the hands, because again, thick bar boy, you see my Arms are, whew, veins are all popping out. Begin exercise number two. All right, last one. Five. All right, four, just some squats three, and we're done. Two, Twelve exercises go. done. You want to go as deep as you can. With good form, keeping your back flat, Halfway. heels and feet on the floor, chest up. Nice Olympic style squat. Does take a lot of hip mobility, but our clients know to work that hip mobility during warm ups and with the exercises we perform. Stop. Rest for 15 <sighs> seconds. <sighs> Woo! 12 exercises. We are done. That only took 12 minutes to do. So, you can see that I worked up a good sweat on those 12 exercises. I did them exactly like they are written in this course. And uh, Bob Hoffman came up with this course, the simplified course, in the early 1940s uh, for people who were too busy to uh, train because usually the biggest excuse that people have is time but you know what we all have 24 hours in the day we all have 168 hours in the week you have to make the time you have to schedule it just like our clients do and show up and do it and with this system like this you're able to get this workout done in under 20 minutes I got it done in 12 because I moved at a much faster pace than what he had recommended but 
it worked just the same. 12 minutes, I'm breathing hard. I didn't have to use a lot of weight. He actually recommends a 100 pound, 100 pound uh, barbell. And then starting with the lighter weight for the first four exercises, increasing it for the next four, and then going to the heavy weight on the last four. And you can see because of the non-stop movement, you're going to get worked even with a lighter weight. It's very similar to complex training, which is something we also use, where you're basically going from one movement to the next with very little rest, using the same implement, in this case, a thick grip barbell, which was awesome. My arms are fried right now. Uh, good workout, uh, UFR members. You guys are going to see variations of this old school stuff in your workouts pretty soon, so uh, be ready for it. And for anybody out there who's saying there's not enough time to exercise, stop making excuses. We offer 30-minute express workouts. 30 minutes. If you don't think you can get a good workout in 30 minutes, you're definitely not working out hard enough or you just have no idea the intensity that's needed when you are training. You can see in 12 minutes the intensity that I worked at, and that was a very light weight. Um, but it was still a good workout. So come crank it up the underground. This is Nate. It's the recovery week, and I'm just playing around this week and getting things ready for next week for our members. Come join the underground, baby. Come check us out. Crank it.